Alright everybody, welcome to the Dishonored Pretty Good playthrough. Now what this is, is uh, I'm someone who's played a lot of Dishonored since like 2012 or 2013. Um, I'm not going for any kind of a like challenge run, not going for like a speed run or anything like that. But I have been playing for long enough that I'll be incorporating a lot of highly optimized routes. It's always interesting especially to compare so with other good players on stuff sure. like this because um, no two people play it the same way everyone has that one little strategy they do that most other people aren't going to know about hurry home and bring good news this this game i've played it from like 2012 until now and uh, i'm still finding new ways through things by the way, I, I would recommend playing it at least once before you watch this series because I kind of will be discussing discussing shit as if it were for an audience that already played it, so there will be spoilers. Plus, a lot of the fun is just finding the routes and discovering them like that. I always recommend, like for this game, a blind playthrough first. Because, like, so much of the fun comes from slowly refining your playthroughs each time. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat play. So, uh, a few other things to keep in mind is, uh, I am basically a shit poster, so expect some content of the, uh, dumb fuck variety. And, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not planning on getting too edgy, uh, but if you're the type who's so PC that the word retarded offends you, like, you'll probably be happier somewhere else. I probably would get pretty edgy if this was one of the games that pissed me off, but, like, this game is so chill. Oh yeah, if I ever, like, seem absent-minded, it's because, like, this game, I find my playthroughs are more interesting when I'm a little fucked up when I play. There was, uh, actually one of my most recent discoveries for a shortcut in the last level happened that way, so, yeah. Cover my eyes and you hide. Do you have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Man, kids are fucking wild. You do you're in the middle of the most important shit. They're just like, hey, let's play. Alright then. Let's go see mother. By the way, if you say yes to that, it just takes oh, you to a stealth tutorial. And like, ain't nobody got time for that. Stop moving, Campbell. This guy's a dick. Welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now, elixir causes autism. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. She'll see you the mouth on this fucking kid. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early of surprises as usual yeah basically in this game the the whole plot is you come back two days early and that just fucks up their whole plan it's a fair wind that brings you home to me, me what now. news have you brought we should leave then. well i brought the news that the plague is a democrat hoax i hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. 
Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. This whole uh, thing is fun. very relatable nowadays. Because you basically play as a quarantine breaker. What? Emily, come here. It's just like real life. You wear a mask and you resist attempts to force you to stay home. Yeah, the one of the first things you want to do if you play this on PC is to rebind block to the thumb mouse button. That way, that's the block and the uh, choke button. And that's just way more graceful and natural feeling than uh, fucking whatever key on the keyboard it is normally. Pussy teleported away. Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Nothing personnel, kid. That guy can teleport. How the fuck I'm gonna know what to do? Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. Yeah, these these guys in the middle are both assholes. Uh, the moral of the story is that bald people are bad and you shouldn't trust them. That guard that hits you, I actually, uh, I used to know a guy who looked just like him, and he was an ex-cop, too. I'm eventually gonna start skipping cutscenes when I can. This one is very plot crucial, so I guess if anyone wants to have a bunch of shit spoiled, I'll leave this in for their sake. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed. This is like the deep state planning against Donald Trump. Nah, I'm kidding. I, we've had so many years to figure out all that bullshit was just excuses. Like, nobody still believes that, right? Except, like, people who unironically post on r slash the Donald on Reddit. Going back to the thing about people who are too politically correct being offended by the word retard, I still maintain that Democrats would be able to match Donald Trump's debate style more effectively and beat him at his own game if they weren't too PC to just call him a fat retard. Like, here's uh, the life lesson time. Um, Taking the high road against someone who's determined to take the low road over and over again doesn't make you a saint. It makes you a sucker. Not exactly, you know, I'm not saying Trump is good for doing that, but if some guy is constantly kicking you in the balls, you gotta kick him in the balls right back. So this right here, I just wanted to show you. This is not a route. This is uh, 
I feel like it was put here to troll experienced players, because, like, um, the way we see it, after a while, is we're like, okay, here's a possible path, jump from there to there, and very soon, once you get your blink powers, it will be very viable, and you, your first thought is, I'll just blink to here, then blink to here, walk all around, and it almost looks like you can jump and do that, too, but you can't. Like, I've tried it several times, and this actually doesn't work. If you had the double jump ability you get later in the game, that would make it work too. So, that I just feel like was put there to troll me on purpose. This level's actually the hardest, because, like, it's, uh, you don't have your powers yet, which without blink and dark vision, it's a very tough game. It's like old school thief. And, um, another thing is there's a very low limit to the people you can kill before it puts you into high chaos, which kind of snowballs and makes everything else harder. So I may be, uh, I may be doing some save scumming on this level because it's, um, uh, it can set you up to do shitty at the rest of the game. And this is... Oh, I hate this part. It's really hard to tell when the guards will see you because they it's like they have like ADD and possible like neck issues because they don't really look up. They won't see you if you're above them. Uh, they apparently don't see you if you're through this these weird bars. Almost forgot what bars in a prison were called. I kind of want to pickpocket this guy, but I don't know if it's safe. No, nobody fucking saw me. Yeah, no, this is why I'm saying I might save scum here. Normally I use the strangle everyone approach to this one, but I don't know. I'm a little paranoid, not really feeling it here. But I want this guy's wallet anyway, so might be worth giving it a try. Attention. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. I'm very big on, like, poetic justice in this game, like, put the guards in the prison cell, use the brand on High Overseer, Ho Overseer Campbell. I like how they give you that kind of option, although with Campbell it is very satisfying to kill him just because he's, like, one of the biggest scumbags in the game. Okay, yeah, so just knocking people out works better. I had a sort of optimized route going where you can just avoid most of the shit, but... Man, I don't know what the fuck went on with the perspective there. Like, I was in the shadow and trying to be... You know, hidden behind the pillar from both people's perspectives. I'm paranoid. I'm gonna choke this fucker out, too. Imagine if that was the logic you could use in real life. Like, yeah, I'm just getting a bad vibe, so I'm gonna strangle this guy. Don't worry, I won't do it long enough to kill him. You know, just until he falls asleep. I feel like a lot of people are too quick to, uh... To point to the chokehold as like an attempt to kill right away. Like people will say if you get in like a bar fight or something and you do that, they'll try to 
say you used excessive force and, you know, you overreacted. The thing about the chokehold is, like, it can be one of the safest ways to subdue somebody. Like, if you don't have the intent to kill and you kind of, sort of know what you're doing, they'll be fine. Actually, most of them will wake up way too quick for a strategy like mine to be useful in real life. Like, I think I I got put in a sleeper hold once and, like, didn't tap out. So, like, the guy, uh, it, I ended up getting choked out and, like, I was back up within probably a minute. Anything else I need here? Yeah, they're uh, they're trying to frame you because they tried to they had the empress killed. In case any noobs are watching. And everything runs off whale oil in this game. It's like a very weird spin on steampunk. So it's, it's a really cool, like, unique universe. Like steampunk zombie apocalypse isn't something you would normally think of. There's something I want to try pretty soon up ahead. Okay, I think this is the way to go. Once you get dark vision, you just never use the lean mechanic again. Me when I go to a furry convention. Nasty furry filth. Just stop him. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Okay, here's one I, where I want to try some new shit. I actually I saw this in a Dark Side Phil video. And I was like ashamed that Dark Side Phil knew something about this game that I didn't. And, like, of course, he dropped the ball fairly quick, so it wasn't like he pulled this off. He just sort of accidentally stumbled upon the opportunity. But, yeah, this route here. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. It's a crap. If this works, that means Darkseid Phil is actually, like, sort of smart. I don't know if I went on the right one. Okay, so that's closed. Yeah, okay, I didn't have to open that bullshit. So now I just got these two guards in my way. Seen any more big rat swarms? You're such a chopper. These guys use some sort of like made up alternate world slang. It's uh kinda like a clockwork orange. Now I wanna one, I'm actually choking these guys out as an act of mercy, because um, if I just blow up the door without sort of stuffing them somewhere safe like a dumpster first, they could die. Sometimes that happens. I don't like my chances here. Gonna auto-save. <laughs> eh, it worked. And the door's closed, so normally there's, like, I think a third asshole to worry about. Wait. This is a nice safe spot. Put these dumb assholes in here. Okay, so thank you, DSP, for showing me this. I don't actually know the guy. I'm just one of his, like, ironic fans where it's like I'll watch and be like, okay... What kind of noob mistakes is he gonna make now? 
I actually, I don't think he's that bad at fighting games, by the way. Like, people try to say he sucks at those, but he's better at them than me. He's, he's just bad at the, like, thinky thinky kind of games. People are gonna chime in in the comments comparing fighting games to chess, and it's like, man. I mean, if you're if you're one of those people who is like all about the mind games and shit, I guess. But I swear that's like fucking a lot of it. The shit that the tournament players are all about seems kind of cheap to me. Fucking, like, I only play Mortal Kombat, so I don't know about the other games, but, like, fucking... I've seen some shit with all these FGC kind of videos. Oh, yeah. Almost missed these guys dying. Okay, so that does still happen in low chaos. It looks like a high chaos thing. It's the first bit where the game teaches you to solve puzzles. Well, I guess stealth really is essentially a puzzle a lot of the time, but... You know what I mean. The great thing about this whole genre is like almost everything is optional you can come up with your way of doing things and uh, it can be totally unintended like this is uh, the genre is known as the immersive sim and it's like sort of sort of an action stealth RPG where gameplay is meant to be like as emergent as possible where you can just you can create situations that are unscripted and free-flowing and I just look it up I can't explain shit Attention Dunwall citizens the assassin Corvo responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily heir to the throne <laughs> I legit just like get lost sometimes still I know what I want to do for the tough parts, but, like, I don't know. Like, I still think I'm going to find unintended stuff by taking different routes. There's tripwires in all these places, by the way. That's why I'm taking all this, all these funky paths. Don't want to get an arrow launched at me. I know I can just jump over that, by the way. I'm just, uh... Doing things the safest way possible for here. I mean, there's nothing about jumping over a tripwire that's gonna add any, uh... Any, uh, like... Excitement to the playthrough. Okay, so it's a note from head douchebag of our movement. Another cool thing to do if your mouse has two side buttons is to uh, bind the uh, weapon access wheel to your other mouse button. Let's see here. Already kind of rebinding this stuff. Um, 
right now. You really have that three, then the heart is four. And five. Six, seven. And then blink and dark vision are one and two. Yeah, I've done this a lot. Slide under this. It actually worked. Holy shit. Now this, there's a note here saying the codes by the whiskey. But the thing with these immersive sim games, it's almost like a meme, is that there is always, well, usually always something. A safe in the beginning with 451 as the uh, combination. That's because of Looking Glass Studios. Apparently it was like a, a thing with them. They were the ones who made Thief and... Uh, I believe Deus Ex too, but yeah, if you if you ever in Dishonored one or I think there's one in Dishonored Death of the Outsider too, where you just like if you don't if you can't find any other clues, just try four five one. Talking and looting at the same time is hard. Now this way, I know there's a right way to do it. And there's a lot of really enticing looking wrong ways that you don't notice you're fucking up until too late. Like I might be fucking up right here. No. Mm-mm, give me that golden shower. I'm usually nice enough to let him finish peeing before I do this, but... Don't want to get spotted here. Shit. So. Nah, nah, that way was blocked. I always end up getting caught somewhere around here, too. I've never just... Well, okay, there's one level that I've sat and played until I got it perfect and worked out the kinks. And that was um, Return to the Tower. That one, that that's just my favorite mission, so I always do that. So this, usually it's my greed that gets me caught here. Because I want all the crap around this guy. And I want to, like, try not to sleep dart this guy. I think there's one other dude who shows up just to wreck my plan. I could have got my shit and gone on by now. Shit. Wasting time. Really? They fucking heard me? Someone must have been closer than I thought. I might have to dart somebody already. Yeah. Safest thing to do. Now don't draw attention, you stupid asshole. Water's always deeper than I expect. I think it's safe to run here. It's okay, the train's making more noise than us. I don't know if that matters in the game. Over here. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. They said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Yeah, you can probably tell I have uh Like, I've not memorized every portion of this game. I just know the key moments. And, uh, I mean, I've hyper-optimized, like, some of the more interesting parts. Like, the first level, I hate the first level. The, uh, the mission at the Hound Pits pub, I kind of hate, too. It's just, 
I don't know. I like to have my powers and the, uh, it seems like there's one portion at the Hound Pits where you just have to get straight up lucky to dodge one of the tall boys and not get seen. But yeah, that that's something to talk about later. You'll see what I'm talking about then. <laughs>